Now springtime is here, and uh, springtime everybody loves. Leads in the summer, swimming, we get to do a lot of things. Gets us out of the house. But there's an enemy that's lurking that could destroy your entire summer. Or your kids. Now, we have to be concerned about ticks, fleas, rats, mice. These animals and these insects will change your life. Now, this stuff is called permethrin, permethrin, however you say it. And this stuff is 36.8%. I put one and two thirds fluid ounces for each gallon of water. I'll usually have about three gallons in a five gallon pail of water. And then I'll put, like I said, one and two, th two thirds fluid ounces for each gallon in the pail. I'll mix it up. I'll throw my um, hiking clothes in there, anything I can think of, my socks. Um, and then I'll leave it in there for about half an hour or so. And then I'll give it a little ring and then I'll hang it on the line. Do not put it in the dryer. Now what's left in, in the pail, I will put that into spray bottles and I will use spray bottles. Now I will use the spray bottles on my dog. I will spray her legs, her belly, and around her chest area. And that's before we go in when we're going hiking into areas. Not only do you got to be concerned about poison oak, poison ivy, and other things, you got to worry about these other insects. Now also understand, if you have mosquitoes around your property, then you have still water somewhere. Mosquitoes only stay in a radius of five miles. So if you have them and you're hitting them, then there's something in your area creating mosquitoes. It could be tires, it could be pots, it could be anything that holds water is out there breeding them. Now, if you end up with some swamps and you have, you know, you're kind of in the country, then there are these bricks you can buy to throw in there to take care of that. I'll have a link to those. And then you'll take care of them. But most people usually just have to walk around and remove the water. If you still have mosquitoes and you're like in the city, then that means one of your neighbors has tires or something out that's creating and breeding them, is what's going on. Maybe you could talk with your neighbor, but that is something to think about. Uh, when people hike the Appalachian Trail and they come into mosquitoes, they know that it's within a five-mile radius, so they, they book it, they move it, you know, when they get attacked. If they can get out of that area, they can come into another area and find out there's no mosquitoes at all. So that's kind of nice. And sometimes when you're hiking, if you get to the top of a mountain where there's wind, that'll keep the mosquitoes away too, but the problem with being on the top of a mountain if it's a beautiful night and a little breeze, that's okay. But if you got storms coming in, that's not the place to be. You want to be down in a hollow so you're ready to be prepared and use the land around you to protect yourself. Now, I use this stuff on everything. I've used it for years. Now, I looked on Amazon, and I can't find an affiliate link anywhere. I would love to but and make a little bit of money, but it's just not happening. Amazon does not have permethrin SFR 36.8%, and I like the 36.8% because it's con concentrated. You can find the 10% on Amazon. That stuff is not as good. This stuff is amazing. Now, I did find this stuff at one store. It cost $29.49 where I found it. Tax was $280. It's $32.29 in total. One bottle is going to last two years. I'm going to tell you that right now gonna last you for years now ideally you should have two or three days and use I used to but I, I need to get my supply back up in case SHTF happens because that stuff's gold and if you kept a spray bottle in your vehicle and you had to get out and but and get home you spray that around yourself you're gonna you're gonna be glad you did now you still have to do a tick check um, I found one tick on my dog since I've been using this stuff in five years, which is amazing, and the tick was really dozy. But I do do a tick check on the dog after four hours. I'll have her, she's so used to it and trained with it, she knows what's going to happen. She'll lay on her side, I'll rub her down, I'll flip her over. She does not fight me at all. She says, okay, it's time to do the other side. Dog gets used to it. I check myself too. Now, if all of a sudden I get a small itch on my body, I don't scratch it. 
I will rub my finger gently across it, and if I feel a bump, I know I got a tick. Now I have a tick to, uh, to tool kit I carry, and it's not a key like a lot of people suggest. I, I found those keys don't work very good, but this kit, and I'll have a link at the end of the video, works amazing. I mean, it allows me to get under the tick, pick the tick up. It doesn't matter where the tick is. It has everything I need to remove a tick. And the faster you remove that tick, the better. On my community wall, I posted where ticks in my area, Kentucky, and quite a few other states are now transmitting a virus. You don't want to get Lyme disease or anything, these insects and these parasites that give out. Treat them as the enemy, as they are. I've had rats climb inside my truck and chew up my wires. And I was just like, unbelievable. And thank God they only chewed a couple wires. And it was wires I'd used from China, which apparently have a scent to them. And that, that's what they chewed up. It was a speaker wire and uh, something from my CB. But it didn't chew any of my other wire harnesses. Or that could have turned into a four or $5,000 bill. So... Really think about what these animals and what these ticks and these insects do to you. Okay, like when the bubonic plague was going on, it wasn't the rats that infected them. And that's what they originally thought. It was the fleas biting the rats, which in turn bit the people, which infected the people and they all got bubonic plague. Do not ignore these. If you have mice, rats, or anything in your house like that, get the traps, get rid of them, and kill them. You got a lot? Put out poison. Annihilate them. Look at them as enemy number one. Don't mess with them. Before you go backpacking, even when it gets hot and you're sweating and you're... Think about using permethrin on everything. I'll even use permethrin around my yard uh, to take care of any ticks, but understand this stuff is no good for cats when it's wet. It doesn't affect my dog, but it's no good for cats. So if a cat gets into this stuff when it's wet, you're probably going to kill your cat. When it's dry, it doesn't hurt the cat. So when I spray it around the yard in a sprayer, I'll literally sit outside in a lawn chair for a couple hours to make sure the wild cats that I have around here don't get into it. So it's nice and dry. And this way it cuts down on uh, the ticks. I don't have ticks in my yard at all whatsoever. And it's because I spray with that. I give the grass a good cutting. I wait an hour to let it kind of dry, and then I go out and I spray. Um, when I make this, I put it in a pail, put my clothes in. I'll spray a little bit on my sleeping bag because it's down. I don't want it soaking wet. I just give it a light mist, and I hang it outside, and I let it dry. I make sure everything, my backpack, I make sure everything's got permethrin on it, and it has been treated. This will last, I don't know, you'll get different things from different people, but I would say, to be safe, do your clothes once a month. And if you're going out in the wilderness or walking down a trail, I mean, with your kids and stuff, have a set of clothes strictly for that, for that outing. And treat those clothes and say, okay, we're going to the park, get your uh, permethrin clothes on, and let's go. And uh, you will be protected from ticks. And like I said, this is not an affiliate link. This was the cheapest place I could find it. I couldn't find it on Amazon. So the link's in the bottom. Go pick yourself up one. It'll probably last you a good five years. Um, but don't go into the wilderness without being protected. Last thing you want to get is Lyme disease and be in the hospital for that. And here in the U.S., it's not cheap when we go to the hospital. We all know that. 32 bucks. And it's not something you're going to have to deal with. I'll catch you guys on the next one.